Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis. We are discussing graph theory and we are up to a point where we can now discuss tie set matrix. It's also known as loop matrix and this is one of the techniques where we'll start building our um, knowledge of um, analyzing the network using KCLs and KVLs etc. But for the time being, we need to understand that tie set matrix is used to find branch currents, which is, by the way, the objective of analyzing a network. And it is formed by only one link associated with twigs. Now, I'll illustrate this with an example. We'll need to draw a tree out of a graph will be given a graph with all the branches let us say we've been given this graph where we have five branches and four nodes which are labeled as this and we have the directions of the branch currents also right so what we do here is the first step uh, is to arbitrarily select a tree in the graph because for a given tree uh, with the addition of each link will start to form one closed path for example if I select uh, this tree out of the graph I'm sure you are familiar with the definition of a tree. A tree is uh, the interconnection of the branches that would cover all the nodes and would not uh, let the closed loop formation in a graph. Um, well, that being said, let us say I've select this tree out of many trees that I can select. Uh, I've chosen this tree. Now with this tree, with addition to each link let us say I add this link please understand 1 2 and 5 are twigs and this 4 is a link of this tree because addition of this link link number 4 will result in formation of closed path so this is the formation of a closed path so in step number two we we form a fundamental loop one two four becomes our closed loop with uh, twigs one and five and link four so i can say that a circulating current i1 starts to flow in this closed loop so I can say that loop 1 uh, has I1 current and it is formed of 1, 4 and 5 out of which we know that 1 and 5 are twigs and 4 is a link. So if this step is clear we proceed on to the next step we know that if we add one more link which is let us say link number three will again form one closed path so that closed path will be one two three and five so i'll circulate a current i2 in this bigger loop which is formed by the uh, link three as a matter of fact by the addition of link three so loop 2 will be 
circulating current I2 within the branches 1, 2, 3 and 5 and of course 1, 2 and 5 are twigs and 3 is a link. So I hope all these points are clear by now that the formation of uh, one link associated with twigs. So uh, we need to make loops by joining just one link with the associated twigs. So we, we have added link number four with the twigs one and five to form one loop and we've added link three with the associated twigs one, three, one, two and five to form another loop. And this point is again simple addition of each link will form uh, will result in the formation of one closed path and in a closed path there flows a circulating current which is equivalent to the link current now this point is super important because if we take loop number one which is one one, uh, one two four over there the circulating current will be equivalent to the this link current in the uh, branch I would say 4 which connects node 2 and 4 so having determined these uh, points we can now uh, start populating our tie set matrix now tie set matrix is denoted by B so our B A matrix will be uh, a matrix of elements which has information for branches and the tie set currents. So what we do is we write down the tie set currents I1 and I2 and the branches are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we'll now determine all the elements which will be B 1, 1, 1, B, 1, 2, B, 1, 3, B, 1, 4, B, 1, 5, B, 2, 1, B, 2, 2, B, 2, 3, B, 2, 4, B, 2, 5, where B, I, J, of course, refers to, I refers to the loop current and J refers to the branch. Now, what are the rules here? Uh, if the... Uh, direction of branch is equal to the direction or orientation of loop current then we put a 1 and if the direction of branch is not equal to the direction or orientation minus one is placed and if branch is not related to loop current then we put a zero so these are the three conditions one two and three that you need to take care of. I uh, will discuss these three conditions with this example. Now, please see that, let us see the orientation of branch one with the loop current one. It is in the same direction. The loop current one is also flowing in the clockwise direction and the current in the branch one is also flowing in the clockwise direction. So I put a one here in this matrix corresponding to B11. One, one. And corresponding to B12, please see that the branch 2 is nowhere associated to uh, the loop current 1. The loop current doesn't involve branch 2's involvement, so I put a 0 here. Similarly, uh, branch 3 has got nothing to do with the loop current 1, so I put a 0 here. So this uh, rule is applied. Then branch number 4 has the same direction as the loop current 1 so I put a 1 here branch current 5 
uh, by the way has the same direction as the loop current i1 so i put a 1 here so in this row uh, this rule has been applied three times and this rule has been applied two times now i get to the second row where uh, b21 refers to the branch 1 and the loop current 2 it is in the same direction so i put a 1 here similarly branch 2's direction is same that of uh, loop current 2 so i put a 1 here now branch 3 direction is opposite to that of loop current i2 i2 is flowing in the clockwise direction and current in branch 3 is flowing in the anti clockwise direction so i put a minus 1 here 4 is nowhere related to loop current 2 so I put a 0 here and 5 is in the same direction of I2 so I put a 1 here so that is how you populate the tie set matrix for a particular tree by by numerating the tie set currents which are also known as the loop currents and the branches and each link will result in the formation of one closed path thereby generating one loop current and further uh, you could see that the branch voltages are related as v1 plus v2 plus v5 are equivalent to zero and v1 plus v2 minus v3 plus v5 will be equivalent to zero in the loops and similarly each branch current is given by the algebraic sum of the link currents and from here we can find that i1 plus i2 is equivalent to j1 and i2 is equivalent to j2 minus i3 is equivalent to j3 i1 is equivalent to j4 and i1 plus i2 is equivalent to j5 i'm sorry i2 minus i2 is equivalent to j3 where uh, j1 j2 etc represent branch currents so this matrix can also be partitioned into two sub matrices of uh, twigs and links of course separating the twigs and links uh, because 1, 2 and 5 are going to be twigs and 3 and 4 are links so separating 1, 2 and 5 on the left hand side and four, 3, 4 on the left right hand side will give us twig and link matrices. Uh, we've discussed this in the previous video you can check that out but that is how you generate a tie set matrix out of a tree or a loop matrix and i hope this quick tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video take care bye